Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Let the moon show you Saturn, Spica, and Venus before dawn. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Chris Trigg. Next week, you'll have an opportunity to let the moon take you on a tour of some of the brightest objects in your morning sky. Get ready to see Ring Saturn, Virgo Spica, and the brightest of all the planets, Earth's twin, Venus. Plus, I'll be giving you an early heads up for this year's winter solstice total eclipse of the moon. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Tuesday, November 30th, around 6 to 7 a.m. facing southeast. The first thing you'll probably notice is a waning crescent moon. Down to its left, you'll see a dazzling bright spot of light, Venus. Halfway between the moon and Venus, you'll spot a dimmer light, the ringed planet Saturn. The next morning, Wednesday, the first day of December, the moon will have moved closer to Saturn and gotten a bit skinnier. It will be only half as far away from Saturn, but will be passing off to the side. The moon will be much closer to Saturn than it was yesterday. The moon seems to move about 13 degrees in the sky from one day to the next. Then, on Thursday morning, the moon will have moved another 13 degrees and will have closed in on Venus and will be about 7 degrees away from Venus. Just above the moon is a fairly bright star, the brightest star in Virgo the Virgin, Spica. The skinny moon, Venus, and Spica will make a very small triangle in the morning sky. But let's take a moment and think about how far away these sky objects really are. The moon is the closest to us, 370,000 kilometers or 228,000 miles. Venus is next closest, 37 and a half million miles or how many kilometers? You fill in the blank. The star Spica at the top of the triangle is a huge number of miles and an even more impressive number of kilometers away. But the numbers are so big that they're almost meaningless. Astronomers describe the distance to stars by using how long it takes light to travel from the star to us here on Earth. The light from Spica takes about 263 years to reach us, so we say Spica is 263 light years away. So the moon will be about one and a third light seconds away, Venus three and a half light minutes away, and Spica 263 light years away. But what about Saturn, which is well above the triangle? Well, Saturn's light will take almost an hour and a half to get here, 84 minutes to be exact. The next morning, Friday, December 3rd, the moon will have moved another 13 degrees and will be even skinnier. The next morning, Saturday the 4th, the moon will have moved another 13 degrees towards the east. Are you beginning to notice a pattern here? 13, 13, 13? The moon moves about 13 degrees towards the east every day. Or think about it another way the moon moves roughly its own diameter every hour. If you have a really clear low horizon, you might see one of the skinniest old moons of the year, low in the east, as morning twilight starts to fill in the sky. But there is another moon event I want you to start planning for. This year, we'll be treated to a total eclipse of the moon in the wee hours of the morning on December 21st. December 21st is the winter solstice, so this year we'll have a double bonus of two celestial events in one day. Total lunar eclipses are especially great things to see because the moon will pass right through the middle of Earth's shadow and often turns a rusty red color. I like to think of it as happening Monday night the 20th after midnight, but start making plans now. It will be a school night, but it's worth making a special effort as the next total eclipse of the moon visible from North America won't happen until the spring of 2014. Let's go back over that one more time. Tuesday, November 30th, the Moon, Saturn, Spica, and Venus. Next day, December 1st, next day, December 2nd, next day, December 3rd, and then December 4th, a really skinny old moon. Then, start making plans for watching the total lunar eclipse on December 21st around 3 o'clock in the morning. That's Eastern Time. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.